All right, this is second grade module seven, lesson 23. And in this lesson, we're moving from rulers and addition and subtraction to now we're talking about collecting data and talking about data and recording data. So in this lesson, we're gonna be collecting and recording measurement data in a table. And then we're gonna be answering some questions based on that data. So parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity for you to really different, differentiate your lessons to really connect with the interests in your students that your students already have. If Eureka Math is talking about subjects that your students just don't get and they don't understand, go ahead and change the subject. Move it to, instead of talking about hand size, talk about soccer and or figure out some way in your classroom to collect data that is meaningful to your students. So let's get started on this. So for the homework, of course, uh, students are going to go home and then they have to start measuring data that is available at home. And in this case, they're going to be measuring hand, hand spans of their family members. All right. And of course, this is assuming we have a healthy family life going on. So parents and teachers be, you know, heads up or particularly, I guess this is for the teachers, heads up that not all of your students are going to be able to go home and successfully do this because in order to do this, you need to have some sort of um, healthy, you know, uh, cohesive, you know, family situation. So heads up from an equity point of view on this. So here you're going to record the names of your family members and their hand spans, uh, probably in inches, and then uh, record and compare your uh, data down here with tallies and then answer some of these basic questions. I'm, I'm going to leave this to you because it's fairly self-explanatory, but teachers, heads up on this, you may need to come up with a new kind of question uh, from an equity point of view. Now here, uh, from an equity point of view, more uh, straightforward, uh, although it does require students have a ruler. So what you can do is you can print paper copies of a ruler and it does not have to be to scale. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so you could give students uh, a piece of paper, a paper ruler, if you choose. And the idea is we're going to measure, and I'm going to start with line A, and of course, uh, we're traditionally we line up our line with the zero on the ruler although in the last few videos <laughs> uh, the few lessons we learned that you didn't actually have to do that you could uh, get the measurements even when you don't line it up with zero but I'm gonna line up my ruler and I see that this is uh, between two and three it's about two and a half inches so that is shorter than four inches so I'm gonna do a tally mark and then I'm going to go to B, and B looks like, oh boy, B is way over here beyond the 4 inches. So that's definitely longer than 4 inches. C looks to be exactly 4 inches. So I'm going to put a tally mark here. And then I'm going to go down to D, and D is uh, between 3 and 4, a little bit more than 3. So that is shorter than 4 inches. And then I'm going to go to E. Now, I'm not entirely sure that my measurements are perfect because I'm not entirely sure I'm able to import these pictures to scale. So parents, teachers, heads up. You, my answers may not be uh, correct. So uh, this one seems to be shorter than four inches. And this one is definitely seems to be shorter than four inches. And then lastly, oh, that's definitely shorter than four inches. So I'm going to put the cross there. Now notice what we're trying to show our students is we don't want just a, a, a forest of lines. We do want them to group in five. So one, two, three, four, cross to make that five, right? And now once we've got this, we can answer a series of questions. And I'm going to bring out our series of questions that we could answer. So uh, how many more lines are shorter than four inches than compared to the four inches, the equal. How many are how many more are shorter compared to equal? Well, we have five that are shorter. We have one that is equal. So the answer is there's four more lines that are shorter than four compared to equal to four. And the idea is these are all the kinds of questions that we could ask. In fact, we also want students to invent their own 
comparison question. And parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity for your students to differentiate themselves, high flyers, low flyers, and they can customize their question to meet their needs. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson 23. Students are collecting and recording data, putting it into a table, and then answering questions.